Our next step is going to be creating our themes folder and our .info file and then populating it with the very basics of what we need in a .info file in order for our theme to work. And that's all we need in order to actually enable our theme. What I'm going to do is go ahead and jump over here to the left where I have a list of the files that are in my Drupal directory. And I'm going to expand the sites directory. I'm going to expand the all directory and then the themes directory. If you haven't downloaded any themes, this should be empty except for the readme.txt file. Now this is where we're going to put all of our custom themes or any themes that we download from drupal.org. Our first step is going to be creating the themes folder. So our theme is going to be called bat, B-A-T. So let's go ahead and create a folder inside of this folder called bat. So I'm going to go ahead and go to new folder. This option will be different depending on what operating system you're in or what IDE you're working with. And then inside of this folder, we're going to create a blank text file called bat.info info. So I'm going to right click it in my IDE and go to new file. And I'm just going to type in bat.info. Then I'm going to expand the folder. And you see now we have our bat.info file. And this should be a blank text file. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Okay. Next, I'm going to jump back to the resource pack directory. And we're going to go ahead and open up the second step, which is called info, bat.info, simplest form. Let's go ahead and copy the entire code that's in here and paste it into our .info file and save it. Okay, just a quick walkthrough of what we have here. We have our name, description, the core version of Drupal that this theme works with, and the engine. So these four lines are all we need in order for our, for our info file to register our theme with Drupal. From here, we can go to our configuration options for our theme. So I'm going to jump back to the browser. And here we have our default Drupal install. We're using just the default Bartik theme. And the only thing I've done with this site is enabled the admin menu here at the top, which you see across the top, and disabled the toolbar and overlay modules in order for us to have simpler URLs so it's easier to follow. And then I've generated a list of dummy content, you see it here, through the Devel Generate module. You could do this too, or you can create some of your own dummy content if you'd like. But I'm just using this dummy content throughout this demonstration in order to be able to show our theme changes a little more clearly. From here, what we're going to do is go to Appearance, right up here at the top, and then just click on that. It'll take us to the List option. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see our disabled themes right here. And here is our new theme. We don't have a screenshot. And then here's our description. So if we wanted to, we can go ahead and en enable this. Let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. And go ahead and click Enable and Set Default. Now we don't see the theme change right away because there's actually two themes working together right now. We have our administrative theme, which is the seven theme. And then we have our default theme, which is the theme that's used for all of our front end material. And that's our new build a theme theme. So if I go to the home page, I'm just going to click on the home link in the breadcrumbs here. We'll see our site has been unthemed, basically. If we scroll down, we just see a list of our content and we see what would have normally showed up in a sidebar down here at the bottom, including the search box and the navigation menu. The reason things don't look very themed right now is because we haven't specified any template files or style sheets inside of our theme. And so what our theme is doing by default is using the Drupal core template files and style sheets in order to render its content. So there's a little bit of styling going on here, but not a whole lot. This is the very bare minimum. 